I'm Dr. Joel Weinstein here at Penn State in the ophthalmology department and I'm studying amblyopia in children. Amblyopia is decreased vision in one eye that occurs in the first few years of life when children have crossed eyes or have a difference in their nearsightedness or farsightedness between the two eyes. What happens is that the brain essentially refuses to build the circuits that are needed to see well with one or the other eye. We're not born with 20-20 vision, we develop it through using the eyes, and if you don't use one, for example, because it's pointed in the wrong direction, the brain doesn't build those circuits, we call that amblyopia. What I'm hoping it will lead to is early detection and then implementation of of implementation of treatment. So we think we have a, a brainwave pattern, an EEG pattern, that will help us detect amblyopia in kids who can't tell us what they're seeing. We'll get a score and we'll be able to compare that to normal children. That score will tell us the difference in vision between the two eyes. We'll actually be able, we hope, to translate that into 2020 in one eye and 2400 in the other eye and we hope we'll be able to monitor that 2400 poor vision as it improves with treatment. Though the child can't tell us what he's seeing, we'll be able to determine whether our treatment is working or not. It is, as you say, not a life and death issue. It isn't cancer, but the quality of vision is something we all rather take for granted, and the importance of it is hard to understand until you lose it. Why don't you have a seat? My name is Greg Jackson, Associate Professor of Ophthalmology at Penn State. My research is focused on developing diagnostic tests for common eye diseases. My current focus is on an eye disease called age-related macular degeneration. It's the leading cause of blindness in older adults over the age of 50 in the United States. Well, right now there's only treatments for the very late stage of the disease. We've been doing research for the past 10 years examining in detail patients' vision who have this disease. And what we've come to learn is these people have a tremendous difficulty moving from well-lit areas into dimly lit areas. And so our technology we developed is a standardized method to be able to measure that process. We have the patient come in, typically we dilate their eye by instilling some eye drops like you would for a standard eye exam. But the actual test is very simple. The patient is instructed simply to look at a red fixation light and they're instructed there's going to be a camera flash. And after the camera flash, they're to push a button whenever they see a small target spot or a small target light. And that's as simple as it is. So we're very hopeful that with uh, a few pivotal studies upcoming, we'll be able to evaluate treatments very early for this disease, much earlier than are currently available today. Hershey Center for Applied Research, the new biotechnology park that's conveniently located across the street has been a real asset. We can go over there and develop the technology and the engineering and very easily translate that into the clinical setting. We all have a goal of going from the bench to the bedside. And the commercialization piece is the hardest part. Uh, because typically in an academic environment you don't have access to those uh, resources that it can actually get you through that large gap. And the environment here has been very conducive to encouraging entrepreneurship, providing me with the support and the time to be able to bridge that gap and actually then do the critical thing, which is get it to the patients.